It's hurricane season and we are here in the Florida Keys. This special portion of Florida actually has a natural barrier from those powerful hurricanes and tropical systems. All that wave energy churning up from the water that creates that storm surge threat is actually suppressed and mitigated because of the beautiful coral reefs. We're going to take a deep dive to get a closer look right now. We're going to hook up that inflate. We met up with the marine scientist at NOAA who study the reef's role in storm protection and wave mitigation. During Hurricane Helene, the Satan Shoal buoy recorded about six meter close to 20 foot waves. And if those waves had made it all the way to shore, they actually would have inundated the highest point here in Key West, which is just under 20 feet. The natural buffer, the reef, literally keeps the ocean from overrunning the islands but that buffer is under threat. Right now, the, the reef structure is only covered by somewhere between one and 5% live coral cover, which it should be something like 30 to 60%. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's where restoration comes in and is so, so critical. The reef isn't what it used to be. Disease, warming waters, and frequent storms battering the coral reef have left large sections of it dying or degraded. As the temperature rises, at some point it starts to damage the coral tissue and that condition continues, the coral will die. Our goal is to bring that site in particular, along with six others, all the way up to uh, Key Largo, from 1% coral cover to 25%. So I think it's time now to go see the Eastern Dry Rock in person. I'm ready to get inside the water. Let's take a dip to see the process up close. We suited up with the help from Finn's Diving Company and followed the team below the surface. We just got to the nursery. This is truly how these reefs are restored. Walk us through what we are witnessing right now, how you grow these corals and then eventually get them to the reef itself. So this is one of the four underwater nurseries that we maintain in the Florida Keys, and it's, it's composed of a grid of anchor points in the sand from which a, a tree is, is suspended using a couple of buoys. And you get three-dimensional growth from it, and this is one of the species that grows really, really fast, so it's a very, very uh, a simple, cost-effective way to produce a large amount of material with a relatively small footprint. What we'll do is go down and we're gonna harvest several fragments and then each of those fragments are going to be taken out onto the reef and then within several months they'll start growing vertically and, and horizontally as, as the branches extend. So this is a way for us to go from a relatively small amount of material to a reproductive animal in, in a fraction of the time. Down here it's hard not to be awed. Every coral branch is building block, not just for the marine life, but for people, homes and businesses above the water. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Does it ever get old looking at something like this? Certain coral species like the elkhorn or the boulder coral form dense branching structures. That's actually perfect for disrupting those waves. Just like a speed bump where that energy is coming in from offshore in waves. So it's constantly compressing that energy and redirecting it. 97% of that energy doesn't make it through the reef crest. The reef supports more than storm protection. It's the backbone and the heartbeat of the Florida Keys economy. It really is economically, ecologically, and, and socially kind of the backbone of, of the local economy and, and the local community. Um, so it's critical that we do uh, take care of this, this most valuable natural resource that we have. Feels good to be back on dry land back at the dock. What a special day today. Learn about the coral reefs. We've talked about the upcoming hurricane season, of course, but seeing it firsthand and inside the water, what it does to protect us during the hurricane season with that storm surge and that wave energy, it wasn't possible except for the great partners of NOAA, Moat Lab, and Finn's Dive Center, getting us up close and personal to seeing how that all protects us here in Florida, especially the Florida Keys. Now, it's time to take you on to the next adventure.